Welcome to our Vashon model. This is our model that you have a curved roof line. Some people call it a caravan roof line. In this particular home that I'm gonna give you a tour of, it is completely custom. This client knew what she wanted. They have multiple chemical sensitivities. There's a lot of special things in here that aren't in most tiny homes. So come along with me while we take a tour around this custom tiny home. Welcome to the main level bedroom. This bedroom is large enough to have a king size bed. You can have a queen. There's room for a chest of drawers in here. You can have an armoire, hang your clothes. Um, there's a digitally operated radiant heat panel thermostat right here on the wall to operate your radiant heat panel here. Every radiant heat panel in this house is individually operated. So each person gets to choose the warmth they want. There's also in this house, there's an ERV system very special we've got fresh air and then an old air return both in the ceiling here this person wanted fresh air inlet in every single room for their allergies and also just for fresh air so you'll see that as we go through the house this is a removable ladder for the loft upstairs which also will hold a queen bed or a king size bed um, this ladder can be removed and put away in the closet if you want this is also the great room. It's room regular, there's enough room here for a regular size sofa. They have the reading light here. And what I love here is the arch windows are just so beautiful. So open. The place they're going to park, they're going to fill one with nature with this whole wall of windows here. And then there's room for a TV on this wall. We didn't put a window here. You can see there's a coaxial cable here um, for their TV. And again, we have another programmable thermostat here for the radiant heat panels in the ceiling. Moving on to the kitchen, this client knew what she wanted in her kitchen. She lived in it over and over in her mind and it is very specific to what she wants. We have a beautiful marble quartz countertop here. She, as you notice, she didn't actually even put a built-in oven here because she has an induction cooktop that she wants to plug in. So we obviously wired this for her specific induction cooktop electrical needs. The cabinets, she loves the filling of glass, keeps the house filling open. We have glass paneling in the cabinets. But notice there's no shelves even on here. This is stainless steel shelving, it was custom built for her. She likes to be able to just throw her pans in and out without doing any damage, it's her style. And they actually are very beautiful as you can see. I love farmhouse sinks, but often they're very large, larger than you want in a tiny house. But this one is only 24 inch, beautiful farmhouse sink. We were able to get the look without wasting a lot of space and only getting what we wanted. And the view out this gorgeous arch window, the view she's going to have of the trees and nature is fabulous while working at the sink. We also have um, you know, track lighting here with adjustable heads. You can point them where you want, multiple of that, so you can point it at whatever your workstation is. So as you can see, our famous super use every square inch steps we have the cubbies in here. She actually wanted a locked cabinet for cleaning chemicals so small kids couldn't get into them. Um, and then she had every cubby designed how she wanted. This one's for boots, that one's for shoes, etc. She knew each one's going to go into each cubby. This fridge has a 10 cubic foot fridge. That's the one size fits most. You can store a lot in here in the fridge and also the freezer. Next to it we have shelving here for the pantry. It's exactly the depth that she wanted. Everything was custom. This is exactly what she wanted. So here we have the utility closet. In the utility closet we have one of my favorite separate washers and dryers. You've seen them in many of our houses even though we do the combo also. Um, we actually set the washer down inside a stand here so it doesn't wiggle around on you when you travel or when it's in use. And then we have a 38 gallon electric hot water heater. She because of the allergies, I didn't want propane in the house, so we have an electric hot water heater here. And then here is the ERV system for the entire house. It was quite a unique and fancy setup that was wanted there.
going down the hallway because it was multiple people living in this house um, they wanted a separate toilet closet from the shower closet so let's go see how we did that this bathroom actually even though it looks small it's quite comfortable it's been very measured out so that when you're sitting on the toilet you have plenty of room you have plenty of room to stand there brush your teeth in front of the sink it does exactly what you need and comfortably on this side we have the tub shower custom made now as you'll see it's not quite finished because she wants to do a really fun tile pattern on there so this whole entire house is not completely finished she is going to do some of her own paint themes in the house and she wants to do her own fun funky tile pattern here in the bathroom but it is a custom made stainless steel tub check out this tub it is the exact slope on the back she wanted it is the exact depth that she wanted and we know that it is not too large for the hot water heater that we put in but yet it is a completely roomy tub you may have already noticed the beautiful door that she chose with the leaded glass look in it but it is an insulated fiberglass door very strong i also wanted to mention that the insulation in here is not the insulation you see in most tiny homes this was wool insulation unprocessed untreated it is amazingly quiet in here amazing how it holds the heat or the coolness in um, and it wasn't even really that much more expensive we were very pleased with how it turned out let's go upstairs to the sleeping loft these stairs are comfortable enough to go up and down very nice sturdy handrail here and the loft up here will hold a king-size bed or two twins or queen or whatever you want from the ceiling to the floor here is a little over four feet so it is really comfortable to sit up in bed read in bed um, and also we just put a wall here she's going to paint it do some fun stuff with it as a safety railing to meet code for the rv code i love this design where we don't put a bedroom over the fifth wheel hitch but we put a balcony so you can enjoy a view from up high or when people travel they'll store their bikes up there as they're driving down the road or whatever else they want we've made these ladders so if they fold they're foldable and they go up and you pin them in place here right here and then she actually wanted a ladder on both sides because she has um, wants to be able to access it but it holds two or three chairs comfortably with a little table for your iced tea or whatever and it also will hold a little mini barbecue up there I do have some customers that have put barbecuers up there. It's a really fun place to be, especially when you pull into an RV park at night or campground and you light your fire down here and you have your drinks up here on the balcony. Everybody's kind of jealous.